If you were here with me, I would hand you a little piece of paper for you to draw anything that reminds you of your childhood, something that means a lot to you. Because you're not here with me, I've already asked my wife to take any of these little colors and to draw anything that reminds her of the childhood. She has the card, I haven't seen it, I don't know what she's drawn, I'm gonna look away the entire time as you push it in there with all those crayons so we can keep it completely hidden from absolutely everything. Once it's inside, we'll close it up and now all we have to do is put those little crayons away. Immediately, now we can start revealing what it is that she's thinking. For instance, I already know that there's some sort of entertainment that goes along with this thought. To make it very brief, I'm just gonna go out there and say that I'm pretty sure you're thinking of a TV set. Most likely you used to watch movies or shows that really um, that reminded you of your childhood. So we're gonna take a look real quick. Let's see if that's for you. This is another card. But we're gonna open it up inside and we'll see. And there it is. The childhood memory is a little TV set. So let's get into how we can create this Peak device because this is doing absolutely everything for us. I had a problem. I had a routine that I wanted to do involving mind reading and childhood memories and all of the devices, at least that I know of, weren't really suited to perform such a routine. I wanted to have a device that made sense to use in that type of routine, which is why I went with the crayon. I love Peak devices. I have worked on many projects. I even have a wallet out, my Nexus wallet. It has tons of different Peaks, probably more than 10 different Peaks that you can do. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I am officially working on the Nexus 2.0. And that's all I can say for now. You can very easily watch this video and use the same concepts to create the same gimmick in a different device. If you don't want to use crayons, feel free to have your gimmick in playing cards, packet of gums, or anywhere else you can think of. This way, it's better going to suit you and your performing style. To make this gimmick, you'll need two crayon boxes. One of them, you're going to cut it so it looks like a cup. Then, you're going to cut along each side of the box and then pull it close together and tape it. All we're doing is we're making that box a little bit smaller so that it can fit inside of another crayon box. If you have an off-brand crayon box, feel free to use that and you can skip this step. We're going to cut down the side of the box on both sides, leaving only about one centimeter at the top. Because I want it to have the actual card go on top of the crayons and have all of the crayons be real, I needed to make sure that the card could stay at the top. For those reasons, I wanted to have have the actual drawing directly on top of the crayons. This way, I could actually offer the crayons to the spectators so they could choose any at all that they want and use that for their writing. In this way, the crayon box completely makes sense and that's the purpose of having it in the routine. To keep the card in place in its peaking compartment, you'll see it in a second, I'm using this little holder to keep cards safe. Every single material that we're using in this video, I'm gonna link it in the comments, so feel free to check that out. Once you have your little stick, and it's going to be almost the size of the crayon, you're then going to cut it so that it is slightly shorter, and then, in order to prevent the card from going into the crayons and not into the compartment, we're going to bend the acetate slightly down, creating almost like a ramp. This is going to ensure that that card always slides right into the peaking compartment. Now, we'll move the flap slightly out of the way as we'll put the acetate inside of the crayon box and then tape it onto the sides. This way, the peaking compartment is right at the top of the crayon box so that when they slide the card inside, the card will always go into that peaking compartment due to the band we added to the acetate. Next, we're going to use the same material we used in my other video where you can take any card, place it inside of the box, and you instantly know that it's the two of clubs. There are no markings, so if you want to know how this trick works, just check out my video up here. I'm also going to link it down below so you can easily find it. We just need enough material to cover the little section that's holding all of the crayons together. I'm putting it together with some rubber cement, but feel free to use any glue or adhesive that you know of. We can put the card inside, and if we tilt just a little bit, and you can now peek. But as you can see, it's a little bit difficult. And to fix that, all you have to do is just hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to do a quick little pause here. If you're enjoying this video, comment down below 
anything that you're incredibly grateful for. I want to spread positivity. So let me know in the comments what you're mostly grateful for, at least this week, and then we can start spreading that positivity. But in reality, all you have to do is get rid of that little back section. If you cut that out, you'll see that now it's really easy to see that peak because there's nothing there to block it. If you're like me and you're using a different box inside, just take that little tiny section you cut off and glue it on the box underneath. That way the box is going to look regular from all sides. You also have the option to add some magnets on the sides. That way when this comes down, it automatically closes. But if you don't want to go through the trouble of adding magnets, I know I don't, feel free to also just use a rubber band and that will cause the crayons to close after you've gotten your peak. You can also use the rubber band to hold the little papers or your business cards that you're using for them to write or draw whatever it is you're doing. There's many different ways in which we can get our peak. I'm going to go over a very covert one after we go over the very basic performance. You start talking about childhood or something that reminds them of their childhood as you bring out the crayons and you hand them the paper for them to draw whatever it is they're thinking of. You hand them the little paper or the business card, you tell them to take any color at all and you look away. Once they're finished with their drawing, you have them place the crayon back, you tell them to put that drawing right on top of all of those crayons to keep it completely hidden so nobody can see it. You could even do it as an offhanded comment. As you tell them to put the crayon back, you can also offhandedly just tell them, oh, go ahead and put the drawing right on top of all of those colors to keep it hidden from everyone so nobody can see it. Of course, make sure you tell them to put it face down. If they put it face up, you're not going to be able to get your peak. Once they've put the drawing inside, close the crayons, but you're going to struggle on purpose. And this is going to cause you to look real quick. So you turn, you look, you get your peak and immediately look away as you finish closing the box. Doing this should make them completely forget that you even looked their way or the way of the crayons. Not that they should think that you can somehow look through the box. You now either set the box down, you put the box away, you do anything at all that you want because you already have your peak information. You now reveal it in whichever way you see fit. My favorite way to do this is by utilizing the gypsy peak. All it is is you close your eyes. As you cover your eyes, you still would be able to get that peak. So right now, I'm technically taking a peek at that house inside of the crayons. If you do use the gypsy peak, you can also add an extra effect where you reveal the color that they chose to draw it with. If you do do this, you should be familiar with how the colors look when you draw on the paper that you have. But all you have to do is as you have them select the color as they take it out, you're actually peeking which color they took out. And then you reveal that information later. You don't tell them to put the color back. You tell them to just put it away in their pocket so that you don't know which is the color that they took. Of course, before you reveal the drawing, reveal the color because the drawing is a little bit more impressive than knowing which color they selected. There's multiple different ways you can use to get your peek using this little device. I'm going to show you just a couple just to get you started. As you peek, like like this, or as you gesture, I should say not peek, because you are peeking, you're getting your peak. So in the action of a gesture, you're actually just raising up so that you can get a peak. And then as you come back, you close it again. You can, of course, do the same thing as you transfer the box from one hand to the other. You just open it up as you point with the other hand, being mindful of your angles, of course, so that you don't flash anything. You can even wait until the very end to get your peak. For instance, it might look something like this, where you are starting to reveal the information, you pick it up and you say, now remember, there's no way I could possibly know what you drew, it's inside, it's hidden inside of the box of crayons. And in that action, you actually take your peek. So when I point it at it in this box, that's when I'm getting my peek. And so that would be a delayed peek. So at the beginning, you could actually just be doing some real mind reading up until the moment where you get your peak and now you can actually reveal the information. Remember, you don't just have to use crayons. Feel free to put this in deck of cards, packs of gums, or anything that makes sense to fit whatever presentation or whatever style you're trying to accomplish. I wanna thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to comment down below what it is you're most grateful for. I wanna thank you so much for your time. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will hopefully see you next week on Monday.